Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I'm going to be dyeing this six-stranded cotton floss. It's 10 metres and you can see here I've got a nice selection of colours here. I've got, um, I've using I've used these for another project but I don't like to waste anything so I'm going to be dyeing with some of these for this one. I'm going to be using the Fuchsia Red, Orange Crush and Daffodil for this. So you can see it's already in solution. This has been um, soaking in soda ash and water for quite a while, probably close to a week actually, because uh, I, I had plans to die and they, they fell through family life came first. So I'm just gonna paint this on now. These. I'm not got, I haven't got my mask on now because all the dye is in solution, but when I was making these dye stocks, I did wear my mask. Now, I didn't weigh out how much powder I used in this. It's all, um, it was just, I just did it by eye. So that was Fuchsia Red. Now going in for the Orange Crush. I want to make this a really nice sort of warm loss. There we go. I did rinse off this um, paintbrush before I went into the orange crush. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a massage through. I don't want, to, I want it to go all the way through. There we go. All right, and I'll clean this brush and then I'm going to the yellow. I'm going into the daffodil. Now, these are all fiber reactive dyes um, because you can only use fiber reactive dyes on cotton. You can't use acid dyes or foos coloring. And all these dyes are from Dharma. There we go. So with, with acid dyes, you need an acid such as um, citric acid or vinegar to help the dye to set to the yarn. Whereas with plant-based fibers like this, you need um, soda ash. So this has been soaking in soda ash. There we go. I'm quite happy with with this. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna show some restraint and not add any extra. I'm just gonna wipe down the excess drips. There we go. And use the cling film that this is on to just roll it up. And now I'm going to leave this in a place uh, for probably under my sink actually for 24 to 48 hours and then we can, we can wash it. Right, it's been two days now. So let's wash this cotton. If I can unravel it. There we go. Unraveling cling film while wearing gloves is very difficult. There we go. Right, there's quite a lot of dye on this cling film, which, I, which is to be expected. But that will mean, yeah, you see there's a fair bit of runoff as well. It might take a little while to rinse completely clear. I'm just going to use some fairy liquid, out liquid, and just try and rinse this clean. With, uh, yeah, see the water's already starting to run clear now, which is fantastic. Doesn't take long. And here is the finished dyed floss. We've got some lovely fades from the yellow to the orange and the orange to the pink. I'm really happy with how those turned out. They didn't muddy too much. There are a couple of little green splodges on that floss, the yellow bit, but I'm not too worried about that. I think it looks quite nice all together. So all in all, I'm really happy with this. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please do click like and subscribe to my channel. I aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday, which is usually uploaded between about 6 and 8 p.m. UK time. And I do like to dye yarn and floss and cross stitch fabric and all sorts. And I like to play around with techniques as well. So I try to make every video different. Thank you so much for watching.